All right, y'all, next in our progression, we just did a quadruped arm raise. Let's do a bear hold arm raise. So we're increasing the demand on the upper extremity because now our knees aren't on the ground, our knees are off the ground. So in the bear hold, same setup, we're gonna tuck your hips. We hold the lower outer abdominals and then I'm gonna push my neck away from the ground like this and I'm gonna pick my knees up off the ground like this. I like to make sure that you, you've got the right position and you can take a breath without losing it. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's do another one. So this is a good start. Once I get this set up, I'm going to hang on to those outer or lower abdominals. And then here's the hard part. This is way harder than the last step. We're gonna pick an arm up. See if I can get that. And then let's see if I can raise it. So I got a little bit of hip turn on that one. Let's try that again. See if I can do it. A little better sweating my face off, but um, the compensation on that, since I don't have the rotation to do the uh, throughout my spine, what I'm trying to do is turn my entire body. And you'll see in the first rep, my knees tilted like this. And on the second rep, I tried to keep them set and then rotate like this. So that's another one of the benefits of doing it with your knees on the ground is you have that feedback, right? The, the ground is now your reference that allows you to turn away from. So keep that in mind when you're progressing to this one. This one is way more complicated, way more difficult. Um, maybe you need to lower the reps, maybe increase the rest, allow your body to do this effectively because it's more important to do it effectively than to just do it. And sometimes you can do yard work outside too.